All right, thanks, guys. We are 64% in our last 14 board member package plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also hitting at 65% for the entire college football season on that website. Link for that site is in the description section below, and I have more information about that site at the end of the show. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. Portland takes on Milwaukee tonight, 8, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Milwaukee. The Bucks are minus 12, totals 230 and a half. This is a back-to-back for the Bucks. They were actually uh, laying 11 to 12 points last night, depending on where you were shopping at. But once again, uh, we saw a half a point move toward Milwaukee and movement upward on the total in the early wagering. The Bucs opened 11 and a half, up to minus 12. Total open 230, up to 230 and a hook. 57% of the consensus are leaning toward Milwaukee. 58% shaded toward the over. Right now, Portland is plus 675 on the money line. Now, Whiteside and Simons are listed as questionable for Portland. Uh, Damian Lillard is out for tonight's action. He will not be playing. And of course, Nurkic and Collins are still out indefinitely for the Blazers. Portland's really struggled as of late. They've dropped eight out of their last 10 games. They also failed to cover an eight out of those 10 games as well. They rank at the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage, bottom 10 in points allowed, bottom three in defensive rebounding. Now the Bucs on the other side, completely different story. They're in the top three in offensive rebounding, top three in scoring. They're 11 and three straight up overall for the year, three and one straight up at home. And they are in first place in the central division. Giannis Anatokounmpo, he's averaging 31 points per contest, 14 rebounds, and 6 assists. He's also averaging 2 steals. Uh, Eric Bledsoe, 17 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists for him. He clanked 2 free throws last night within the last 2 minutes of uh, that Milwaukee game. That kind of uh, cost us the cover there. Atlanta sneaking in the back door late. But anyway, uh, Bledsoe's averaging 17 a game, six rebounds, five assists. Uh, Milwaukee has successfully covered the number in two out of their last three. They rank the top five in offensive field goal percentage, top three in defensive field goal percentage, top three in home scoring. Now, total-wise, the Bucks are 75% to the over at home, five and three to the over in their last eight at any location. Portland, on the other side, 4-2 and two to the over in their last six. They're also 60% to the over when traveling. I'm going to lean Milwaukee. We're going to try it again. I'm going to lean Milwaukee. Laying the dozen in the over 230 and a half in that game. And of course, we're going to slide to our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Pelicans, Suns, 1030 Phoenix. The Suns are minus 4.5, total 234. We saw a 1.5 point fade of Phoenix and movement upward on the total. The Suns open six, down the minus four and a half. Total open 233, up to 234. 58% are leaning Phoenix, 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Pels are plus 170 on the money line. New Orleans really struggling this year. Just five and nine straight up overall for the season. Five and a half games back of first place in the Southwest Division. They've lost five out of their six games away from home this year. And they're two and four against the spread when traveling as well. Now, the Pelicans rank in the bottom five in points allowed, bottom 10 in defensive field goal percentage. They also rank in the bottom three in points allowed at home. Favors and Hart are listed as out for tonight's action. Okafor and Ball are listed as questionable. And, of course, Zion Williamson still out indefinitely. Now, Phoenix on the other side, pretty good covering at home. They're 6-3 against the spread at home, 9-4 against the spread overall for the season. They rank in the top 10 in scoring, top 10 in offensive field goal percentage. Devin Booker's averaging 25 points a game, 6 assists. And Kelly Oubre, 17 points a game, 6 rebounds for him. Phoenix ranks in the top 10 in 3-point percentage, top 10 in defensive rebounding. They're also top 5 in home offensive field goal percentage as well. Uh, Baines is out. Rubio is questionable, so keep an eye on uh, Rubio at least if you're into fantasy or if you're just a fan of the Suns. Now Phoenix... 7-6 7-6 to the under for the year. New Orleans 7-2 to the under in their last nine. I'm going to purchase the half a point. I know you all love that. Slide it down and take Phoenix minus four and the under 234 in that game. And I'm going to slide into uh, my quick pick recap. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are 64% in our last 14 board member package plays. I like Phoenix minus four under 234, and I like Milwaukee minus 12 over 230 and a half. 
All right, let's go ahead and slide into our quick pick recap. Once again, brought to you by Patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout out to Tyon Lowe, Trav Reith Miller, Nathan Woosley, New Life, The Mac. Uh, shout out to Square 707, Steam Punk PS4. Uh, shout out to Trey Fisher, uh, Tariq Johnson, who's representing Newark, New Jersey. Actually, uh, Tariq, I, I fly out of Newark uh, a lot. And... Um, uh, actually did a good amount of business in uh, Elizabeth uh, at, a, at a massive, uh, well, a couple different massive scrapyards back in the day. So anyway, uh, shout out to Tariq uh, Johnson representing uh, Newark. Uh, got lost in Newark once uh, in, a, in a beater car and uh, it was a dicey situation, but uh, Newark's a good town and I uh, love that area, uh, you know, that New York City metro area. But anyway, shout out to you, Tariq. Uh, shout out to Melissa Hall Grant, Joe Alba. Uh, all uh, and last but not least, I got to give a shout out to All Day Endong from Ghana, joining us all the way from Ghana, Africa. So thank you so much. Uh, really, really appreciate you uh, tuning in. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me for this episode. Now, I, I said to you earlier in the show, uh, we're hitting at 64% in our last uh, 14 board member package plays on my website. That's patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also hitting at 65% for the entire college football season on that website as well. Now, what we do is daily premium selections on that website beginning at just $1.99 per month. Now, I know what you're thinking. You know, what's the difference between what you do here on YouTube and your Patreon page? Uh, Well, what we do here on YouTube is we handicap every single game on the board, uh, both the side and the total. We formulate an opinion on as many games as we can. You know, we're... uh, trying to give, you know, educated uh, opinions and uh, essentially uh, create good informative content just for you to, you know, kind of say, hey, am I on the same side here? Am I, uh, you know, fading Brock? You know, it's it, it's a great uh, program for content. But if you were to bet your hard-earned money on every single game, both the side and the total, you're going to lose in the long run. Hell, you're probably going to lose in the short run. Uh the books are too, they're smart. They're too smart. They're too good. They have too much information. Uh, you just, uh, the math is always against you. You just can't bet every single game side and total and expect to win money. You're just not going to do it. So what we do on Patreon is we really narrow it down and uh, kind of focus on three to four premium sec, uh, selections per day. They're personal selections of mine, high percentage selections, uh, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my current record on Patreon is a lot better than it is on YouTube. And you can check out my current record for free right now uh, on that website. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into our quick pick recap in Espanol. That's my edición en Espanol. Yo tengo Phoenix. Uh, let's try that again. Yo tengo Phoenix con puntos y los bajos. Y final Milwaukee con puntos y las altas. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on Patreon, uh, where we are 64% our last 14 board member package plays. But most importantly, guys, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and dive into our NHL slate. So let's go ahead and get into that. And once again, welcome to our NHL uh, Lines of Personal Lean show right here on YouTube. Uh, before we go ahead and dive into that, just got to quickly remind you guys that we are 64% in our last 14 board member package plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also hitting at 65% for the entire college football season on that site as well. Link for that site is in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, the Red Wings take on the Blue Jackets, 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Columbus. The Blue Jackets are minus 170, totals at 6. We saw a nickel fade of Columbus in the early wagering. The Blue Jackets open $1.75, down the minus 170. Total open remains at 6. 68% are leaning Blue Jackets, 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, Detroit is plus 150 on the money line. Columbus plus $1.40, laying the goal and a half. We have Junis Corposalo for the Blue Jackets, Jimmy Howard for the Red Wings. Howard comes into this game with a 2-8 record, 3-8-6 goals against, and an 8-8-4 save percentage. 
Now, Corpus Allo on the other side for Columbus. He's 8-7 on the year, 297, 